Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we'll see how you can use Azure DevOps build pipeline to build your project and then push this artifact to AWS S3 bucket. To achieve this, we have to do three steps. First, we have to create an IAM user in AWS who should have access to one of the S3 bucket. Then we'll create AWS service connection in Azure DevOps using that user credentials. And then we'll use that AWS service connection in Azure DevOps build pipeline and create the artifact and push that artifact to AWS S3 bucket. So let's get started. So log into your AWS account and then go to Identity and Access Management, IAM, and under Users, Add User. I have already created a user by name AWS underscore user, but I can show you how you have to create this user. So add User, give some name to the user, and select Programmatic Access. Next, here you can go to Attach Existing policies i have created a policy by name aws s3 access select that i will show you what permissions are there in this policy i will not create this user because i already created but when you create this user it will give you access keys and secret for that access key now i'll show you the permissions this user has aws s3 access policy and i edit this policy you can see i have given it list bucket permission and create bucket permission only on this particular bucket. So if this bucket is not existing, then it can create this bucket or it can list this bucket. I've also given permissions to put object and get object into this particular bucket. So this user don't have access to any other bucket in S3 plus get authorization token so that it can generate a SCS token to connect to S3. So our user is now ready with proper permissions. Now we'll go back to Azure DevOps and in your project, on the left side down corner, go to project settings and we'll create service connection under pipelines. You can see service connections on the top right here, new service connection, select AWS, click next and the access key and the secret for that access key, which you received when you created the user in AWS, save those things here, scroll down and then give a name for the service connection. I've already created this service connection, so I can show you here AWS service. This is I've already created, so we'll use this AWS service connection in build pipeline now. Now we'll do the last step to create a build pipeline and then use this service connection. So we'll go to pipelines and I've already created this pipeline push to AWS S3. I'll show you what are the contents of this YAML file. So there is a trigger from the main branch and I'm using self-hosted Docker build agent. These are the variable groups which I will pass it to it and it's normal steps where I will get the project details and I will build my project copy my artifact files into artifact staging directory. And here, the artifacts which I want to push to S3, I am archiving it into artifact staging directory under deploy.zip file. And this is S3 upload. This is the task which will upload the contents to S3 bucket. If you wanna see how to write this task, on the right side, select AWS, and then you can see AWS S3 download and AWS S3 upload. Under AWS credentials, Drop down, you will see the service connection. The region is where your bucket will be created. So I will select Sydney region and the bucket name. Now this bucket name should be unique. So you can choose any name and you don't need to worry whether this bucket is already created in S3 or not, because you can check this box, which will create the S3 bucket if it is already not existing. And then you can provide the source folder from where it has to pick the contents and any pattern. I will try to push deploy.zip file so i have mentioned here deploy.zip is the file which it should push it also provides option to encrypt the content so you can either use aws managed encryption keys or customer provided encryption key if you select aws managed encryption key then you can provide the kms key which you have to create in aws or you can select aes 256 case encryption and then if you press add will add the task similar to this what is already there. So I have given AWS service connection, the region, the bucket name, exact file name, which will be pushed to S3 bucket and the encryption key. I've also given option to log the request and the response. Let's run this pipeline. So you can see pipeline has run successfully. So if I go to S3 upload task and you can see here, complete upload of deploys of dot zip to bucket in S3. We'll go back to S3 AWS. And if I refresh here, you see the bucket is created. And inside this bucket, 
if I refresh again, I see the artifact is uploaded here. So you can see it's very easy to use Azure DevOps CI/CD pipeline to push any artifact or any other contents which you want to save in AWS S3 bucket. It can be easily done using S3 upload task. I hope you like this session and we'll see you in next. Thank you.